Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Thursday, uh, May the 10th. It's year two, it's week five in Easter, and week four in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 74, Leviticus chapter 19, verse 26 to 37. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Why, O oh God, have you cast us off forever? Alleluia. Psalm 74. Why, O oh God, have you cast us off forever? Why blaze with anger at the sheep of your pasture? Remember your people whom you chose long ago, the tribe you redeemed to be your own possession, the mountain on Zion where you made your dwelling. Turn your steps to these places that are utterly ruined. The enemy has laid waste to the whole of the sanctuary. The, your foes have made an uproar in your house of prayer. They have set up their emblems, their foreign emblems, high above the entrance to the sanctuary. Their axes have battered the wood of its doors. They have stuck together with hatchet and pickaxe. O oh God, they have set your sanctuary on fire. They have raised and profaned the place where you dwell. And they said in their hearts, let us utterly crush them. Let us burn every shrine to God in the land. There is no sign from you, nor have we a prophet. We have no one to tell us how long it will last. How long, O oh God, is the enemy to scoff? Is the foe to insult your name forever? Why do you hold back your hand? Why do you keep your right hand hidden? Yet you are our ruler from times past, the giver of help through all the land. It was you who divided the sea by your might who shattered the heads of the monsters of the sea. It was you who crushed Leviathan's heads and gave him as food to the untamed beasts. It was you who opened springs and torrents, and it was you who dried up ever-flowing rivers. Yours is the day, yours is the night. It was you who appointed the light and the sun. It was you who fixed the bounds of the earth and who made both summer and winter. Remember this and see the enemy scoffed. A senseless people insults your name. Do not give Israel your dove to the hawk, nor forget the life of your poor ones forever. Remember your covenant. Every cave in the land is a place where violence makes its home. Do not let the oppressed return disappointed. Let the poor and the needy bless your name. Rise, O God, defend your cause. Remember how the senseless revile you all the day. Do not forget the clamor of your foes, the daily increasing uproar of your foes. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Why, O oh God, have you cast us off forever? Alleluia. The lesson is from the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, beginning at verse 26. You shall keep my statutes. You shall not let your animals breed with a different kind. You shall not sow your field with two kinds of seed, nor shall you put on a garment made of two different materials. If a man has sexual relations with a woman who is a slave, designated for another man, but not ransomed or given her freedom, an inquiry shall be held. They shall not be put to death, since she has not been freed. But he shall bring a guilt offering for himself to Yahweh. At the entrance of the tent of meeting, a ram as guilt offering. And the priest shall make atonement for him with the ram of guilt offering before Yahweh, for his sin that he committed and the sin he committed shall be forgiven. When you come into the land and plant all kinds of trees for food, then you shall regard their fruit as forbidden. 
Three years it shall be forbidden to you. It must not be eaten. In the fourth year all their fruit shall be set apart for rejoicing in Yahweh. But in the fifth year you may eat of their fruit, and that their yield may be increased for you. I am Yahweh your God. You shall not eat anything with its blood. You shall not practice augury or witchcraft. You shall not round off the hair on your temples or mar the edges of your beard. You shall not make any gashes in your flesh for the dead or tattoo any marks upon you. I am Yahweh. Do not profane your daughter by making her a prostitute that the land not become prostituted and full of depravity. You shall keep my Sabbaths and reverence my sanctuary. I am Yahweh. Do not turn to mediums or wizards. Do not seek them out to be defiled by them. I am Yahweh, your God. You shall rise before the aged and defer to the old, and you shall fear your God. I am Yahweh. And when an alien resides with you in your land, you shall not oppress the alien. The alien who resides with you shall be to you as the citizen among you. You shall love the alien as yourself, for you were aliens in the land of Egypt. I am Yahweh your God. You shall not cheat in measuring length, weight, or quantity. You shall have honest balances, honest weights, an honest ephah, and an honest king. I am Yahweh your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. You shall keep all of my statutes and all of my ordinances and observe them. I am Yahweh. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Show us your mercy, O God. Grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace in Jerusalem and in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep this nation in your care. Guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth and your saving help among the nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us by your Holy Spirit and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O God, you manifest in your servants the signs of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love, that in companionship with one another your abundance, abounding, abounding grace may increase among us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs>